Hi and welcome to another video for Linmob.net and this time today it's about LunaOS on the PinePhone. Now what is LunaOS? LunaOS is a successor to WebOS which you can see running here on a Palm Pre Plus um, which was released in 2010 and the WebOS itself was released with the Palm Pre in to mid-2009 and um, unfortunately uh, it didn't really go far. This is running uh, WebOS 2.0, which was uh, released, um, I think, in early uh, 2011 after uh, Palm, which is the company that made these uh, devices and that was orig operating system originally, had been bought by HP. Unfortunately, HP soon uh, changed up uh, CEOs and the new CEO decided to abandon WebOS, uh, leaving many people that liked WebOS for its intuitiveness of use and its gesture-based operating system a lot um, really sad and unhappy. Actually, WebOS was then uh, later sold uh, to LG, who now make uh, TVs with WebOS. Um, but as far as phones are concerned, um, there haven't been any since, I think, 2000, 2011, yes. But the, the Palm, uh, no, the HP Pre 3 was the last uh, WebOS phone ever released. Now, uh, there is LunaOS. LunaOS is, um, I think it was once called Open WebOS, um, is um, available for the Pine phone. The last image was released on July 21st and uh, I'm running it on the UbiPorts Community Edition Pine phone. If you compare this uh, here um, and you see it's quite similar. Unfortunately, uh, this build of LunaOS is um, still quite buggy. Um, the screen turns off and uh, getting it to turn back on is, well, sometimes feels like pure luck. Oh, that's, I, I'm sorry, I messed that up there. Here we go. Um, yeah. All those gestures, huh? Um, and now I have to go again because, yeah, power management isn't good on Lunas uh, right now. Um, and I think it's has never been very good uh, on the Pine phone, but um, that's not what I want to show here. Oh, crazy. Uh, so here, um, this um, other gesture, by the way, is just similar to what it was like in the old days. Now, as you can see, there are a couple apps. Um, by the way, calling works, I tried that. And um, so here are memos maps, calendar, I didn't set those up, contacts, but what's new there is card duff and card duff thing, uh, synch synchronization, so you should be able to connect this up to your next cloud. I might try that later when, uh, well, power management has gotten better and it actually uh, becomes, well, maybe kind of reasonable to run this as a main OS on the Pine phone, but right now it's just too buggy to even bother doing that. But I am um, quite happy with some parts of this thing. Um, not only do calls work, uh, but um, there is a basic set of applications here. The camera doesn't work, but um, um, yeah, so accelerometer, accelerometer apparently works, as you could just see or witness. And um, there, you know, it, it just is quite finished already. Um, now I turned off again and oh, it's, it's, it's really annoying actually. Uh, but let me just show you that these uh, app menus you just saw were the same on the old version. Um, and also Prevair, which is well, the app store, if you will, was already a thing back then being the community based app store here there's prior 
after the uh, webOS phones, uh, HP developed and developed a tablet. And I think uh, the tablet is in terms of software closer than this Palm Pre. Because that one, webOS 3, the tablet, the HP touchpad. And if we just go to HTML5 test here, um, as you can see, the keyboard is quite decent. I prefer it over the one in Plasma Mobile. I think it's one of the best keyboards for the Pine phone. Um, actually, um, you can see that this is uh, calling itself WebOS 3.5 in the browser. So, yeah. Um, also, as you can see here, um, this is cute web engine powering the browser and it's in version 5.15, which is quite new. I think UbiPorts are uh, moving over to 5.14 and Sailfish is still on 5.12, if I'm not completely mistaken. So they really have a badass cute version here. And uh, well, let's just... For the fun of it, uh, try the same website on the old pre here and yeah, this keyboard is really small. It's a three, three inch screen um, while the Pine phone, as you know, has a six inch diagonal. Um, of course, it doesn't really translate one to one because um, let's see. 130 points and it's webOS 2.1 so I was wrong saying it was version 2 but uh, 2.1 or 2 I mean that's not really a big deal and as you can see yeah quite some improvement since um, also if you think of this hardware you know 512 megabytes of RAM 16 gigabyte flash 600 megahertz single core CPU uh, ARMv7 of course um, the Pine phone isn't a powerful phone by today's standards, but it's just so much more powerful than um, this uh, old uh, devices used to be. Um, so really, um, I hope I can get it to power on again here. So, um, and as you can see, um, when I go to my blog, that runs just fine. Um, it's not the font I wanted to render, but hey, at least it's working. So that's it for now and for LunaOS. I'm really hoping that uh, LunaOS can manage to improve uh, power management because the battery runtime on this is really horrible. I think two hours and then it's done and this wake up behavior but otherwise it's pretty good and if you know power management was working as well as on other distro distributions and well it would wake up every time you press that button it would be likely uh, the operating system i would choose because it has a major uh, it has the necessary features you know it has a mobile optimized mail client it has contact con contacts and calendar sync and it has a decent web browser i mean come on that's what you want that's what you need essentially i mean there's a couple more things that you would really would like to have but if i'm not completely mistaken LunaOS uses valence so sh you might just be able to port over some of those apps written for the mobile gnome there and well, that's that. So thanks for watching. I will stop rambling now. If you like to follow me on Twitter at, at LinMobBlog, where I post a lot of stuff. Um, if you prefer the Fediverse, follow me on uh, or contact me at, at LinMob at fosterdown.org. And don't forget my blog, linmob.net, uh, which um, is updated quite regularly. Um, I will post uh, one weekly roundup of PinePhone news and a media roundup every Sunday. And I've got this resources pages page, which is full of helpful links. And then there's this daily driver challenge going on, which isn't really going uh, 
yeah anywhere but um, because there are always bugs that stop you at some point right now but I'm pretty sure that will get better and well that's it thank you for watching stay healthy and uh, have a nice week bye